I see you saying, mom, I'm not leaving you. I'm not leaving you. And she shows yeah. me you there at like one in the morning, two in the morning. I even see you like looking at her, looking at her chest, making sure that it was still, it, it was still breathing. Yes. Paula, where are you from? I'm from Kentucky. Kentucky, I'm glad that you're here. I love the accent, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. I gotta tell you, everybody who's got the Southern accents, right? I feel like you can say anything that you want and it always sounds so sweet. <laughs> However, I, although, cause I have the New England accent, right? And I feel like anything that I say just sounds trashy. <laughs> no. Well, first of all, I'm glad that you're here. Thank you. And first of all, there's a couple souls that I'm hearing from on the other side. But first mm -hmm. of all, did your mom pass? Yes. She's stepping forward. But I also have your grandmother that's here that's with her as well. Because they're both yeah. coming through together. Because I was like, hearing these two women speaking to me. And I'm like, who are you? And then I kept hearing, I'm the mother, I'm the grandmother. So know if they're both here on the other side. Okay. But you know that they're here with you. And first of all, I got to tell you that your mother is so high energy on the other side. Because she was literally behind you, like waving me down. When yes, I've been talking to her all day. I'm like, please, you know. First of all, I got to tell you, she wants to thank you for keeping her jewelry here in the physical world. She tells me there's jewelry that was kept. Oh my God, you have it on you. Perfect. Did you say, mom, if you're here, talk yes. about this? Shut the yes, hell I up. Did. So you were testing me on here. Because <laughs> your mother, I'm like, why do, don't you have any other messages? Because can't tell my job about the jewelry. You got to tell about the jewelry. So when yes. you were holding that in your hand, you said, mom, if this is real, you'll say that you're here and you'll talk about this jewelry. Know that your mom seen that so when you put that in your hands and you kept it off camera your mom knows that you kept that there validating to you that she can see everything that's happening in your life and more importantly she saw even what happened before we got here live on zoom what your mom wants you to know is this she says matt please tell my daughter that she has to stop grieving because what's so tough is that you keep going over her passing again and again and again and again. And she says to me, Matt, my daughter's trying to make sense of this. Yes. Because she tells me that first of all, when I'm connecting with your mother, she was trying to fight this here in this world when connecting with her. And when I'm speaking to her, I also am hearing her whispering about a procedure. So was she supposed to have a procedure done here in the physical? There was something scheduled, I remember, but... She passed before. That's what I want to talk about. Because your mother said to me, Matt, she says, please tell my daughter, I did not have a fighting chance here in this world. She talked about a procedure. She talked about the fact that she was really hanging on. But she said to me, there was no way that I was going to be able to survive this. And there was no way that I was ever going to be able, she says, to be myself. That's what she tells me. Yes. yes. What's tough is this, is that you were literally... <sighs> Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you everything. And by the way, also when I'm connecting with your mother, there's a child that's here that also passed. And that was my brother. Okay. Please know that that soul's also with your mom because you keep saying he's here, he's here, he's here. Letting you know that that soul is also there and with her on the other side and not to worry about him. Your mom tells me that first of all, she is so happy for the relationship that the two of you had here in the physical world with one another. She says, because Matt, my daughter was my everything. And she shows me that she wants to thank you for the car rides that you used to take with her and about the way that you used to just get in the car and go all these places and about the shopping trips you used to bring her on and the little lunch dates. Cause she says to me, Matt, do you know these are all the memories that I keep thinking about on the other side? She tells me your mom is able to see into your life now. Right. And she says to me, Matt, my daughter's surprising me because she's doing things that I wouldn't have thought she would have ever done. And your mom keeps showing me about you trying new recipes. So are you trying to cook? What is the connection with you cooking? Trying to cook some of her uh, recipes that she had. That's amazing. And are they on like little index cards? Because I keep seeing like little index cards when I'm connecting, right? And then being all spread out. And that's what your mother was talking about. So know that it's her way of letting you know that when you started to make those recipes or started to cook, right? She sees that in spirit. She says to me, Matt, please let my daughter know one thing. Please let her know that as she's making those recipes, when she's doing things, it's 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 exciting for you because you're um, remembering your mom and it's uh, it's yes. um, a beautiful memory, but it's also painful because you think yes. about your mom not being there. And she says to me, Matt, do you know how many times my daughter goes to do things and then stops herself? She says, Matt, she goes, I want her to know not to think of me as dead. I am not dead. I am just different. She keeps telling me. 
and she's bringing that through. She also knows that you kept little decorations of hers, like little decorations from her house. And I see them in your house too, because she shows me in random places. And I see like you literally going and seeing these decorations all through the house and saying, oh my God, look at, that's my mother. Oh my God, that reminds me of mom. And like, you'll have these memories that come. Yes. Your mom is so, so happy that you kept those. And she's so happy because they all carried memories. Yes. And she's bringing that through. I'm also, is this, was there somebody that used to call Tammy as well? Um, yes, I know somebody that her name is Tammy and we're pretty close. Yes. Your mother's also telling me that she's watching over her. She's telling me she's still living. So okay. I don't know if that's like a friend of yours or somebody that yes. you're close with after your mom's passing. Please yes. know that she knows about her. Because this is what's so cool is I feel like that Tammy is someone that you met after your mom had died. And I feel like that she's been really helping you. Yes, she has. Getting out of the house, doing things, rediscovering yourself. Yes. And your mom says to me that one of the hardest things, and this is why she's bringing this up, right? Your mom tells me that one of the hardest things that had happened is that your mom was literally the glue that kept the family together yes. here in this world. Yes. And she tells me that when she died, you felt like you lost your connection to the family. You feel like the holidays aren't the same. No one's there. Like you can't even get someone on the phone or like nobody keeps in touch with anybody anymore. Yes. So your mom says to me, first of all, she's sorry that that had happened. She says, but I want my daughter to know that here in this world, she goes, it's all about making your own path. And your mom said to me, the fact that you met that, that Tammy and she came into your life and she's been a really good friend to you and you've been going out and doing all these things. Your mom says to me that she actually sent her to you from the other side. I feel like that was a friendship that you were supposed to have. Yes. Because your mom's bringing that through. She tells me, Matt, please tell my daughter that what's so amazing is this. I get to watch over her every single day. I get to show her that I'm here. She says, and when this event ends, what's so cool is that your mom tells me, I will try to reach her on my own. And your mom keeps saying, keep an eye out for the signs, the signs, the signs. And one of the signs that your mom uses to reach you is actually birds. Have you seen birds that remind you of your mom? Yes. That's her way of letting you know that she's there. So when you had those signs come in and you were missing your mom, you looked outside and there were those birds that were there. No, it's her way of bringing that through. And letting you know that she is always with you. She says to me, Matt, I know how hard it was for my daughter to watch me die. She says, but the one thing that she also wants to tell you is this. She says, Matt, I was ready to go. Yes. She I know she I'm going to be honest with my daughter, Matt. I didn't want it. I didn't want the procedure. I didn't want the operation. She goes, because I knew what was going to happen after that. Yeah. She says, and I didn't want to leave my house. I didn't want to lose my independence. And I knew that that's what was coming. Yes. So as hard as it was, and as, as much as you felt like you lost your mom prematurely, she says to me, Matt, I passed with dignity and grace. And I want to thank my daughter for allowing me to go to the other side because you did tell your mom it was okay. And I also know as well that you refuse to leave her side because I see you staying on the side of your mom. And literally I see you saying, mom, I'm not leaving you. I'm not leaving you. And she shows yeah. me you there at like one in the morning, two in the morning. I even see you like looking at her, looking at her chest, making sure that it was still, it, it was still breathing. Yes. She's acknowledging that. She says, Paula, she says, I need you to know that you did everything for me. And that when I died, she says, I knew how much you loved me. That's what she tells me. She says, so as you decorate the house, when you have those little things all around you, she says, and it reminds you of me. She goes, don't be sad. Remember, these are happy memories. And these are the same memories that I'm thinking about in heaven. She's bringing that through. And by the way, when I'm connected with your mother, right? All I smell is like her perfume on the other side. It smells like this, this powdery smell when I'm speaking to her. Yes. And she says to me, she sends that same smell to you. So if you randomly just smell your mom out of nowhere, Know that that's not, that's not a coincidence. Know that that's a sign. It's her way of letting you know that she's there and with you and that she is safe and at peace. Yeah, I talk to her all the time. Well, listen, this is just validation of that. And it's validation of her letting you know that it's not a, it's not a, a permanent goodbye. It's just an I'll see you later.